I'm very excited to be here with all of you today and congratulate each and every one of you on your work. I love the fact that you are identifying ways to make our community a better place to live. Yeah, I think you should be proud of yourselves because it, it really takes a special kind of person, especially during a pandemic, to participate in an event like this. And, I, and that's why I think you really need to be enormously proud of your leadership and your conviction and your dedication to your community. You know, in my time as a, a former city councilman, as a state representative, and now as a state senator, one of the ways that I've always tried to stay true to my roots is by always listening to young people and their families. And, and that is critical, um, that we listen to the folks who are going through it. You're in the trenches. You're there fighting, dealing with issues every day. And, and for several years now, uh, it has been an honor and a privilege to be involved with Speak Up, Speak Out Civics Fair. And so this is why it is a great pleasure that we get to recognize those teams that stood out as the best of the best in today's presentations. But I want you to know, regardless of where you were selected to advance or to the state civics or you don't, I want you to know that we want to hear all of your great ideas. And I hope that you continue to pursue making our community a better place. Um, we're going to be recognizing the top three presentations in three categories, the high school, the middle school, and elementary. So let me start with here what I have in front of me. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with uh, sixth through eighth grade is what I have in front of me. Um, in third place, uh, team 17, presentation topic was mental health during the pandemic. Excellent, excellent idea, excellent topic. Uh, the presenters were Leah Alina, Aliana, Araceli, Giselle, Elena, and Ilan from the Advanced Learning Academy with a combined score of 107. Congratulations. And I mean, let me tell you, you were one point behind second place. Uh, Team 22, uh, your presentation topic, health and wellness within the school presented by Samuel, Kevin, and John from Kruger KSAT with a combined score of 108. Congratulations uh, to that excellent team for their presentation, Health and Wellness in School. And in first place, uh, team number 20, the environment, trash on the San Antonio Riverwalk. And the presenters were Annabelle, Elisa, Tyler, Jaden, Charlotte, and Eogan and they are from the Advanced Learning Academy, and they had a combined score of 113.33. Congratulations to the middle school three winning teams, the three top teams. Moving on to ninth through 12th grade, in third place, team number 57, their presentation topic being elderly isolation. Very important topic, very poignant at this time, isolation is hitting everyone, but especially the elderly. Presented by Abitha, Winter, Samuel, Emiliano, and Liv from the International School of the Americas, you had a combined score of 113.5. And probably what has to be one of the closest differences in scores was between second and third place. Second place, team number 75, the environment, Fields of Land That Cry, presented by Fernando, Nicolás, Deandra, and Nicolás. Uh, and they are from Cass Tech High School. Get this, guys. The last score, third place was 113.5. Second place, 113.75. One quarter of a point between difference between second and third, meaning that both of them were excellent presentations. In first place, uh, team number 79 with a presentation called Hunger, very appropriate at this time, presented by Beckett, Eder, Ed, Edafe, and Mahasvin from the International School of the Americas with a combined score of 114.5. Congratulations. I am sure that they were all excellent presentations, and I look forward to uh, seeing them. I hope there's a a PowerPoint or something that y'all can send me that I can uh, look into because I would love 
to hear what you had to say and see what we can do. And hopefully we could put some of your ideas into practice, into real policy uh, in terms of maybe something at the city or the state, federal government, or just working with all uh, levels of government together, cooperating, because every one of those topics is critically important.